At so, anong ginagawa mo? Anong ginagawa mo para makatipid ng gas? Carpool. Hindi naman. Oh, what do you want to do? Oh, yeah, that's right. What we can do. We drive. We drive cars here. Ikaw. Magkakalesa ka na lang. Malakad na. Iyan, maglakad ka para mas mabilis dumakas sa freeway. Hindi, freeway, ha? At gas stations across the country, prices are shooting up higher and faster than they have in more than a decade. Breaking records in California, $5, $6, premium as high as a jaw-dropping $7.55. Sticker shop? <laughs> Wonder what's next. You know, it's, if it's going to be 7 now, it's going to be 9 pretty soon. Because we know Russia is a world major player when it comes to oil and gas production and obviously because of the war or because of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine the global community has imposed their sanction against Russia and because of that there is what you call disruption disruption in the distribution of this strategic product or a strategic commodity which is the oil and now we have this great problem it is a global problem because of this disruption. Hello everyone! Well, well, well. There are so many trending topics nowadays that is really worth discussing. Of course, you know, pandemic, which is COVID, the Omicron, and now we have the Delta, Delta Cron. Those are things that is worth discussing. Our training topic nowadays is the Ukrainian war or the Ukraine war due to Russian invasion. And it has a great impact. We know, we know that. And the great impact is the, uh, you know, the oil shortage across the globe that is being felt across the, the, across the globe, not just here in the United States, even there in the Philippines. It is because of the uh, economic sanction imposed or being imposed by the global community, communities, many nations impose their sanction, which is equivalent to punishment to Russia so that affects the uh, you know that affects us because you know uh, the importation of oil from russia is being banned actually a few days ago uh, the biden administration imposed that sanction that no more oil buying no more oil uh, importation from russia this is a way to punish the Russian government because of their, you know, invasion uh, on Ukraine. Now, who are affected? Definitely countries who are relying much on oil importation are really affected, including the Philippines, you know. Parang papahirap na po ng papahirap ang buhay. At saka parang... Ewan, kung sa susunod, baka maglalakad na lang po ang mga tao dahil sa sobrang pagtaas na. Eh, sana nga po hanggang dito na lang yung pagtaas. Kasi kung mas tataas pa, eh, parang ang hirap-hirap na po nun. I'm trying to help my gas right now. It's pretty... Pretty bad. And Lester, the experts we spoke to today say there is a chance that other states may start seeing some of these high prices too. $5 a gallon, $6 a gallon, all in the upcoming months. And they say if the price of gas goes up another 11 cents, we will officially be in uncharted territory. Kung matinding paghihigpit na ng sinturon, ang ginawa ng marami matapos ang malakihang taas presyo sa krudo nitong nakaraang linggo, maghanda na sa mas mataas pang dagdag singil sa susunod na linggo. Sa projection ng Unioil Petroleum Philippines, posibleng magtaas ng 12.20 hanggang 12.30 pesos per liter ang diesel, habang 6.80 hanggang 7 pesos per liter naman ang gasolina. Ito na ang magiging panglabing isang linggong dire-diretsong sumisipa ang presyo ng krudo. Ito rin ang pinakamalaki sa taong ito. Ano sa palagay mo yung uh, presyo ng 
gas or fuel this time? How does it affect you? Magkano ang magkano ang nilalagay mo sa car mo na gas? Every day? Magkano na ngayon? Talaga na may pekto. Kagaya ang malayo ako. So dati, $20 in 5 days bali ganyan. Ngayon, $60. When was that $20? $20 is the gasoline is like... Kailan pa yun? Last year. Last year? Last year. Mura pa na nagagawa. Ngayon eh. Ikaw, kung mas yung efekto ng ano, ng fuel... Oh my goodness. Pain. Pain in the pump. It's a pain in the ass. Pain in the pump. It's good. I know. Ngayon nga eh. Di ba sabi dati, let's go Brandon. Ngayon, hindi na let's go Brandon eh. Ano na? Putin din na. Sorry, what's the vlog? Oh, it's a different topic. It's a different topic about the vlog. About the how they say. So, what are you doing? What are you doing to make gas? Carpool. No, not. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Oh, yeah, that's right. What we can do. We drive. We drive cars here. You know, you're going to get less. You're going to get less. Ay, yeah, maglakad ka para mas mabilis tumang sa freeway. Sa freeway, ha? Ay, my God. Are you willing to pay more for gas if it meant more restrictions on Russia? Uh, personally, yeah, I probably would, honestly. It's, uh, I feel like it's just a little price that I might need to pay. I would rather support Ukraine in whatever we can. If that means gas prices hike up, like, I would, I would pay it. Experts say whatever the outcome, expect to see higher prices well beyond the pump. I think I'm going to start walking when it hits six. <laughs> I think I'm going to max out there. <laughs> Yeah, Jose, just seeing these prices is mind-boggling, and hopefully people will be able to find cheaper prices. But experts say the way things are going, the average American family may be spending $1,000 more in gas than they did last year. Do you drive? Yes. So what can you say about the gas price nowadays? It's too much. It's too much, yes, huh? I know. How much do you pay for your gas tank? I mean, for your fuel, for your gas? Fifty dollars, but it's a full tank. Yeah. Oh, because probably you have yeah, a small, yeah. small tank. Yeah. yeah, it's a pain in the ass yeah. nowadays. <laughs> Gas is too much, right? Because of beauty. Yeah, yeah, right huh? Yeah, oh, better for you to ride a bike yeah. or better walk. Yeah. Better walk, take a walk, and use the freeway. Yes, use the freeway to, to walk so you can you can you can get here faster because you are on freeway. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Ang LTFRB naman nakatakdang ipamahagi sa darating na linggo ang 5 bilyong pisong pantawid pasada fuel subsidy sa mga chopper. Martes, pinakamaaga itong makukuha ng mahigit 300,000 public utility drivers na tinukoy na beneficaryo ng programa. Ang mga magsasaka ng mais at mangingis ng apektado rin ang pagmahal ng krudo, makakatanggap ng tig 3,000 pesos na subsidiya mula naman sa Department of Agriculture. Target na maipamahagi ang first tranche ng ayuda ngayong Marso, habang ang ikalawang tranche naman sa Abril. What can you say? About what? About the fuel, the gas uh, soaring price. Well, like I said, the gas now is $5.10. Yes. Uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do to, what are you gonna do to offset that, you know, that uh, cost? I'm gonna go to Joe Biden's house. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna go to Biden, and then? Knock on his door. All right. On the White House door. Okay, and then you're gonna say, let's go Brandon. Let's go take a walk. Oh, and then? You know, talk, you know, go walk around the, you know, this year, you know, talk. And tell him that, you need to fix this, sir. All right. And we are suffering. Woo! Go, go, go for it, Terrence. Go for it. You know? Yeah. But do you think Biden, what did Biden not think he was say? He gonna look at me and laugh at me. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> we are very much affected, not just United States, even Philippines and other countries, because the demand nowadays on oil for fuel is really high because you know we are uh, russia is being banned to sell their uh, oil products to different countries that's why the demand is high uh, and the supply is less so the effect is fuel soaring or skyrocketing price but what does it mean that but why we still have a high or soaring or skyrocketing uh, gas prices here in United States or here in the land of Uncle Sam? You know, why? Does it mean to say we don't have a source of oil or fuel here? Of course, there's a lot. There's, there are massive sources of fuel or uh, source of oil we have everywhere we have in Alaska we have in Midwest actually we have in South Dakota North Dakota Illinois we have a lot even here in California uh, Bakersfield even here in Long Beach a few miles from Glendale there is a big vast of oil well you know every day oil is being drilled but still why we still have high and soaring prices of oil here. Across the country, the national average has rocketed past the $4 mark. And in California, where drivers are shelling out as much as $7 a gallon, some are on board with the sanctions, but say they still want to see Washington try and bring relief. Or send the message, send all the messages. <laughs> but I think we have oil here. We don't need to be buying their oil. You may think the U.S. can just drill more, pump more, rely even less on oil from other lands. It already produces most of what it uses, but it's not that simple. The oil and gas industry has millions of acres leased. They have 9,000 permits to drill now. They are not using them for production now. That's their decision. So, what is the real reason, despite the fact that the land of Uncle Sam has massive oil resources, and yet the price of fuel in the pump? the price of gasoline is still skyrocketing. What does it mean? Why the fuel cost, the cost of the fuel is so expensive nowadays? And what is the reason behind why the energy policies is being politicized? Why there is too much politics when it comes to the energy policies that affects the production of oil and natural gas here in the land of Uncle Sam. Why there is too much politics on this? That will be the topic of our discussion next time. That will be the content of my next blog. I hope you will follow me and I hope you will stay tuned if you want to find out the real reason behind this is skyrocketing fuel price. All right. Thank you for watching. See you next time until my next vlog.